Hey, how's it going? Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to install a Google Nest thermostat with an older gas wall heater that operates on a millivolt system, meaning there's no electrical power supply going to the heater. Now, according to Nest, this setup won't work, but I'm here to prove to you that it does work and it works really well and it's very simple installation. The only extra piece of equipment you'll need is a 24 volt transformer adapter, sometimes referred to as the C-Wire. I purchased this on Amazon for $17.59. The Nest thermostat I'm installing is the smart thermostat programmable with Wi-Fi. I paid $99.99 on Amazon. It's their lower end model, but it has all the features I needed plus more. To make it more aesthetically pleasing, I covered the wires with a product called Cord Channel Cable Concealer. I paid $13.99 on Amazon. So my total cost was $131.57 plus tax, and I'm betting I'll make this money back in gas savings within the first three months due to improved efficiency and less waste. All right, let's get started. Step number one, remove the old thermostat. Now with mine, there were just two wood screws holding it to the wall. I just had to make sure that those wires, the two wires, they didn't fall into the wall. Otherwise I'd have a whole nother problem to deal with, trying to get them out. Step number two, install the wire channels. So first you need to tape the ends of the 24 volt adapter wires to prevent them from touching each other. Then you plug the adapter into the wall outlet. Next you want to install the first piece of plastic channel to the wall so it's within about one inch of the adapter plug. This is how you accomplish that. You cut a strip of double-sided double tape the length of one section of the plastic channel. You place this on the back of the channel and firmly press the tape onto the channel. You peel the paper off the back of the double-sided you know, double tape. You press the channel onto the wall You install the 24 volt adapter wires into the channel. And place the cover on them. You do the same with the next section of channel, leaving about three quarters of an inch space between the two pieces of channel. Place the cover on this one as well. Then add the small connector piece between the two sections of channel. Cover that three quarter inch gap. Then you cut pieces of channel to size using a hacksaw or snips. I used a PVC pipe cutting shears, which is really quick. And then finally, you continue adding sections of channel and corner pieces until you get close to the area where you want to install the Nest thermostat. You want to make sure there's plenty of room for the actual thermostat to press down on the housing, on the base, without actually touching the uh, channel. All right, so step number three, install the nest base. So you mount the nest base to the wall using 
the two wood screws that's provided in the kit. You don't tighten the screws all the way until you have all the wires properly in place, which is the next step. Now you can come back in a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the last section of the plastic wire channel. You can see I just marked it with a pencil and the, the length that I want. Now these are the PVC pipe shears that can actually cut up to two inch diameter pipe. They work great for cutting these, or this uh, piece of channel. So I went ahead and put a piece of the tape on the back of this last section of channel. And I'll just go ahead and peel it off. And I'm going to be securing it and pressing it to the wall, making sure the, it's nice and level. And something just to keep in mind, you want to leave the little gap between that edge of the nest housing or the base and the end of the that white channel. I actually, right here, it's actually too close. I had to take a utility knife and trim it down a little bit, trim that last little section that I wasn't able to fit the nest on because that plastic was too close. All right, so I put the cover on, wires in it. All right, let's make sure all the wires are tight. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it. Trim. This is the C. Uh, excuse me. The yeah, the C wire. The the wires that go to the 24 volt adapter. You don't want to have too much extra wire because then it, you won't be able to press the nest thermostat on because the wires will get in the way. Now you can shove some of the wires into the wall to get them out of the way. But anyhow, so then I, after I cut it, I you know, pull them apart so I can get access to two of them. I use my little wire strippers and strip the wires. Here is the wiring diagram. You have four wires. See on the upper left it says C tab. So you take one of the 24 volt wires from your adapter that you plugged in. It goes to the C tab. You go down to the bottom on the left. It says W tab. The white heater wire, that wire goes to the heater. You want to plug it in there. Then on the right side, you only have one slot, the R slot. You're going to have two wires there. One is the red wire that goes to the heater, and the other one is the white wire that goes to the 24 volt adapter. You're just going to have to spin those two together really, really tight and slide them in the slot. It took me a few tries, but I was successful. This is a, it's a really simple wiring, wiring diagram. Now I'm going to actually hook up the wires. So let's start with one of the C wires going to the 24 volt adapters and the red wire that goes to the heater. You just twist those really tightly together and you're gonna press them right there into the R slot. Okay, there we go. So next up, we're gonna take the other 24 volt adapter wire and press that into the C slot. He said, just press that little tab down and it opens it up and then I press it in. All right, then the final wire is the white wire that goes directly to the heater. Now that's a pretty easy one because it's a solid, solid core wire, it's very stiff. And it just, you just press that into the W slot. All right, there we go. Now I'm just gonna Press some of the wires into the wall just to get them out of the way to allow room for the nest thermostat to press down onto the base. You don't want the wires to get in the way. Using a screwdriver can also be helpful in pressing the wires into the wall. 
Now I just use that same screwdriver and kind of pry over the, the <laughs> white con plastic conduit. That allows me room to press the Nest thermostat onto the base. Should just click, click right on. I actually end up having to trim that plastic just a little bit. When I first, the, first put it on, it was just slightly too long. All right, so then you get all the uh, plastic covering adjusted properly. And there you have it. The Nest thermostat installed, connected to a gas wall heater. Now there's just one final step, and that is installing the Google Home app and programming your Google Nest. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it's not the Nest app, it's the Google Home app. Once you've downloaded the Google Home app, just open up the app and follow the instructions. Click on the plus symbol, which is set up device. Then click on new device. Then choose a location or click on the plus to create another home or a new location. I'm going to click on 123 Main Street, San Francisco. The app will look for devices. It takes five to 10 seconds. It will pull up a menu of devices. You want to scroll down until you see thermostat. Click on thermostat and you'll be asked to scan the QR code. The QR code is located on the back of the nest. So you may have to pull it off the wall again. You can also choose to skip the step and just enter the six digit setup code. Either way, you'll go to the same next screen. Now you're, now you're ready to start programming your nest. You'll need to know the two wires on your original thermostat. These will be the W wire and the RH wire. Continue following the instructions. The app will show you what wires need to be hooked up to which slots. It's that simple and it really works. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.